if you'd like to prevent a heart attack, then you better listen up. And I'm gonna tell you things in this video that your doctor probably does not know and things that could in fact save your life and add years to your life. I'm Dr. Ken Berry, a family physician. Let's talk about what actually increases your risk of having a heart attack. If you've been to your doctor lately, then you may have been told, hey, you're at increased risk for a heart attack. I need you to take this statin drug to lower your LDL cholesterol and eat a plant-based diet and try to exercise more. Now, on its face, this, uh, this advice sounds reasonable. I mean, your doctor did go to school for this, so they should know what are the most important risk factors and which ones don't even make the top 10 chart. Now, here's the pie graph of the top 10 hazard ratios of things that increase your risk of having a heart attack. Now, I'm just a country boy who happened to go to medical school, but my granddaddy told me that you should always take care of the important things first. So the larger the slice of the pie is on this graph, the bigger the hazard ratio that increases your risk of having a heart attack if you happen to have that particular risk. So given your doctor's advice of lower your LDL cholesterol, eat a plant-based diet and exercise more, you would think that those are probably the three biggest parts of this pie chart. Ah, uh, my friend, let's talk about this. This pie chart I generated from an article in JAMA Cardiology that was published back in 2021. They looked at all the possible risk factors for heart attack and they gave them a hazard ratio. So up until now, I haven't put the labels on this because I want you to be a little bit in suspense. So let's dispense with the suspense and let's look at what's the biggest part of this pie chart. And indeed, the biggest part of this is type two diabetes. The next biggest part is metabolic syndrome. The next biggest part is hypertension, then obesity, then smoking, triglycerides, overweight, having a small LDL particle size, having an elevated CRP and being inactive. Having uh, elevated LDL cholesterol or total cholesterol doesn't even make the top 10. So why is your doctor wasting your time talking about it and wasting your copay for you to take a potentially side effect ridden statin medication or even worse, to lower something that's not even in the top 10 of the risk pie chart? So the bad news is your doctor wasted your time, gave you a pill you didn't need, recommended a diet that's not going to help, and then told you to go and exercise, which is good for you, but it's not going to it's number 10 on the list, literally. So let's focus all of our time, all of our attention, all of our money, all of our motivation on fixing the most important things first. So first off, type two diabetes. This is absolutely reversible with a low carbohydrate diet, a keto diet, a ketovore diet, a carnivore diet. You can reverse this completely and get rid of this biggest portion of pie out of this very low carbohydrate pie. The number two biggest size is metabolic syndrome, completely reversible with a very low carbohydrate diet. So I have videos on this channel about how to reverse type two diabetes and how to reverse metabolic syndrome. The next biggest hunk of the pie, hypertension, having high blood pressure. I've got several videos on this channel to tell you how to do that, to improve it, if not completely reverse it for free, no copay no prior authorization, no standing in line at the pharmacy. The next biggest part of the pie is obesity. Again, I've got multiple videos you can watch for free on this channel about how to reverse your obesity. Next is smoking. You gotta quit smoking if you smoke. Please tell me you don't smoke. But if you do, today is the day that you're gonna start to wean down and stop the smoking. Next biggest part of the pie, having high triglycerides. I've got several videos on this channel to tell you how to lower your triglycerides back to normal for free. Hint, eat a very low carbohydrate diet. The next piece of pie on this chart is being overweight. Not as dangerous as being obese, but still a measurable risk factor for heart attack. I've got videos on this channel to tell you how to fix that for free. Next is having a very small particle size when they 
fractionate your LDL cholesterol. So it's not just having a high total LDL cholesterol. That's not the problem. The problem is having the small dense particles. Guess what reverses that and improves it? A very low carbohydrate diet. What about having an elevated CRP? There is no diet on the planet that is more uninflammatory than a very low carbohydrate diet full of real whole one ingredient ancestrally appropriate foods. And then number 10 on this chart, when you've taken care of all the other nine and you're less inflamed and you're less obese and you feel much, much better and your mitochondria are working much, much better, you can start to take care of number 10 on this chart, which is being inactive. Now, I want you to notice what doesn't appear on this chart of the top 10 hazard ratios of what will increase your risk of having a heart attack. Total cholesterol doesn't even make the top 10. LDL cholesterol doesn't even make the top 10. Uh, a plant-based diet doesn't help any of these things more than eating a very low carbohydrate diet. So, Again, what was your doctor talking about? Where did your doctor get that information? So what you may not know, what you may need to really focus on and understand is that doctors are just dudes and chicks, just like you. They're not magical. They, don't, they, they have access to this same information, but very often they're lazy or they're overworked or they just don't care. And they wind up repeating what the latest drug representative who came to their office and brought free donuts said. And so if the last drug rep in their office was a drug rep pushing statin drugs or the other drugs that can lower your LDL cholesterol precipitously, then that's the baloney that you're fed. The doctor ate the donuts and you get the baloney about take a statin or repatha or praluent shoved down your throat. So please, please, please have some country boy common sense. Start with the biggest piece of the pie and work on that first. You can reverse your type two diabetes. You can reverse your metabolic syndrome. In fact, every single uh, part of this pie, all top 10 are reversible at least to some degree by eating a very low carbohydrate, ancestrally appropriate, uninflammatory ketogenic diet. There's a new study that was just published in the journal called Current Opinion in Endocrinology, Diabetes, and Obesity by my good friends, Dr. David Diamond, uh, Dr. Ben Bickman, and Dr. Paul Mason, that shows unequivocally that if your doctor's hung up on your LDL cholesterol and is becoming emotional because you refuse to take a statin, your doctor needs to put their student cap back on and go back and do some more reading. I've got a uh, link down in the show notes to the full text of this article. And if any of you guys, if your doctor's like, you need to take a fat and your LDL fine, you're going to print this study out and you're going to go back to your doctor at your next visit and give them a copy of this and say, look, dude, you're embarrassing yourself. You need to read this study, look up the citations, and then stop saying stupid <laughs> Hope this video helped you a lot. Feel free to share this video with your friends and family members who are still under the false assumption that their doctor knows everything about how to prevent a heart attack. This is Dr. Barry. I'll see you next time.